Hello students, today we will discuss the topics network topologies, network types and the network devices. So let's start with the first topic that is network topologies. Before this, know what is a network? A computer network is a set of two or more interconnected computers and a set of hardware devices. And a network topology is a pattern of interconnection of nodes in a network. Means how the computers are arranged in a network. That pattern is known as a topology. Types of network topologies are bus or you can also say it linear topology, tree topology, star topology and mesh topology. First one is bus or linear topology. In this topology, a single cable length of transmission media example coaxial cable is required to which the various nodes are attached means various computers or you can say various nodes are attached through a single cable that cable is coaxial cable. The topology is used in traditional data communication network where the host at the one end of the bus communicates with several terminals attached along its length. In this topology, data is transmitted in both the directions. Data is transmitted in small blocks known as the packets. Here you can see the pictorial representation of the bus topology where you can see every node is connected through a coaxial cable. From the one end, data is transmitted in the form of packets and firstly the data reaches to the first node then second node then third node after this whenever it reaches its destination then the data is goes out from the another point advantages of bus topology first one is short cable length easy to extend means you are able to extend it means you can add number of nodes reselling architecture Disadvantages of bus topology, it is difficult to diagnose the fault and to repair that node. Repeater configuration is also a disadvantage of bus topology. Next second one is star topology. Star topology consists of a central node to which all the other nodes are connected by a single path. It is used in most existing information networks involving data processing or voice communications. In this network, twisted pair cable is used. Here is the diagrammatical representation of star topology where all the nodes are connected to a single hub or you can say a single system. And the cable which is used in star topology is coaxial cable. This network looks like in the form of a star. So that's why it's known as a star topology. Advantages of star topology, it is easy of service, one device per connection, each device is connected to a single device only, simple assess protocols and central control or problem diagnosis. All the control is in the hands of the central node or you can say the hub. Disadvantages of star topology, entire performance of the network depends on the single device hub. If the hub device goes down or you can say if it fails, the entire network will be dead. Difficult to expand central node dependency. All the nodes depend upon the central node. Star topology requires more wires compared to ring or bus topology. Next one is tree topology. A tree topology is a special type of structure in which many connected elements are arranged like the branches of a tree. Example, tree topologies are frequently used to organize the computers in a corporate network or the information in a database. Here you can see the tree topology. The topology, it is in the hierarchical form, that is in the tree form. Advantages of tree topology, it is a combination of bus and star topology. It provides high scalability as these nodes can add more nodes in the hierarchical chain. It provides easy maintenance and fault identification. It is easy to add a computer by simply extending using cables to connect computers. Next is the mesh topology. In this topology, each, each node is connected to more than one node to provide an alternative route in the case 
the host is either down or busy. Communication is possible between or by passing through. It is used in large internet working environments like star, rings and buses attached to each other. This is a mass topology where each node is connected to every other node. Here you can see this system is connected to all the other systems in a network. So in mesh topology, each and every node is connected to all the nodes which are present in the topology. Advantages of mesh topologies, it manages high amounts of traffic because multiple devices can transmit data simultaneously. A failure of one device does not cause a break in the network or transmission of data. So the disadvantages, the cost to implement is higher than other network topologies, making it a less desirable option. Building and maintaining the topology is difficult and time consuming and a large number of wires are required in the mesh topology. Next come to the types of network. There are basically three types of network, LAN, MAN and WAN. First one is local area network that is LAN. It is a computer network that spans a relatively small area. It is mostly used or confined to a single room, building or a group of buildings. Its main purpose is to serve its user in resource sharing. Hardware and software can be shared through the local area network. In local area network, one computer is designed as file server. It stores all the software that controls the network. Software that can be shared by the computers attached to a network. As an example of a school building, where one system or you can say one computer act as a server and the others act as a workstations or the nodes. So it comes under the category of local area network. Here you can see the pictorial representation of LAN. Next come to the wired or wireless LAN. Wired WLAN is a wireless computer network that forms a local network of two or more devices using a wireless technology within a limited area such as home, school, etc. WLAN provide network communication within the range of LAN using a wireless technology like radio or infrared signals instead of cables. Means WLAN act as the same purpose such that of LAN but the difference is cables are used in LANs and the WLAN is a wireless technology. WLAN use technologies and terms. First one is Wi-Fi that is wireless fidelity, a wireless technology that connects computer without cables. AP that is access points, a device that connects wireless devices together. Next one is hotspot, area covered by wireless access points. Next come to the second type of network that is metropolitan area network. It is a network separate over the city. Its purpose is assuring of hardware and software resources among its users. Example, cable TV networks. Here you can see small LANs are connected together to make a metropolitan area network. Next, third and the last one is wide area network. It is a network that separate across the countries. WAN is a group of computers that are separated by large distances and tied together. Small group of LANs are joined to form a WAN. Example, internet. Computers connected to a wide R network are connected through public networks such as telephone systems are, and also connected through leased lines or satellites. Example, here you can see when small LANs and small metropolitan area networks are combined together, it forms a wide area network. Difference between LAN and WAN. In LAN, diameter not more than few kilometers, but in WAN, it span over the entire country. Data rate of at least several Mbps in LAN, but the data rate is less than 1 Mbps, that is megabits per second in WAN. Complete ownership by a single organization in case of LAN, owned by multiple organizations. WAN, so means WAN is owned by multiple organizations. 
in LAN, there are very low error rates, but in WAN, higher error rates are possible. Next, come to the topic of network devices. The devices which are used for networking purposes is known as the networking devices. Here are some of the networking devices which we are discussing. That is modem, hub, switch, repeater, gateway and router. First one is modem. It is a peripheral device that allows you to connect and communicate with other computers via telephone lines. It converts digital data into analog data and the analog data into the digital form. This is called as modulator or demodulator. All of you see mostly it is used in at our homes, offices, buildings, etc. for the Wi-Fi purposes. Modem is of two types, internal modem and external modem. Internal modem, that modem that are fixed within the computer is known as the internal modem. And the modem that are connected externally to a computer as other peripherals are connected, it is known as a external modem. Next is hub. Hub is basically a hardware device used to connect several computers together. Hub are multi-slot device into which a number of multiple cards can be plugged to provide access. Hubs forward the data into packets including email, word processing documents, etc. They can receive over one part from one workstation to all the remaining ports. Hub is basically of two types, active hub and passive hub. Active hub, it electrically amplifies the signal. As it moves from one connected device to another, it is used to extend the length of a network. An active hub is also known as a concentrator nowadays. Passive hub, it allows the signal to pass from one computer to another without any change. Next is switch. Switch is a device that is used to segment networks into different subnetworks called subnets or LAN segments, which prevents traffic overloading in a network. So the main purpose of the switch is to control the traffic over the network. A switch is responsible for transforming data into a specific way and forwarding packets between LAN segments. Next is repeater. A repeater is a network device that amplifies and restores signals for long distance transmissions. Over distance, the cable connecting a network loses a signal transmitted, so repeaters are installed along the way to ensure that packets reach their destination. So, the main purpose or the motive of the repeater is to forward the data packets over the long distance. Here, you can see weak inbound digital signals, but by using the networking device repeater, digital signals converted into the strong signals. Repeaters are of two types, amplifier and signal repeater. Amplifier, it amplifies all signals over the network. It amplifies both signals and any concurrent noise. Signal repeater, it collects the inbound packets and then retransmits the packet as if it were starting from the source destination. Next is gateway. It connects dissimilar networks. Means when dissimilar networks, for example, when LAN, and man both are combined so the gateway is used it establishes an intelligent connection between a local network and external network with completely different structure a gateway is actually a node on a network that serves as an entrance to another network in enterprises the gateway is a computer that routes the traffic from a workstation to the outside network that is serving the web pages here you can see the pictorial representation of gateway which is connecting their similar networks. Means when the LAN is connected with the WAN, the gateway acts as an intermediate device between these two dissimilar networks. Next is router. A router is a network device that connects multiple networks irrespective of their protocol because it handles different protocols. A router forwards data packets from one connecting network to another dependency on their IP address, but not on their MAC address. Thank you students. If you are visiting this channel for the first time, then subscribe to the channel.
और बेल आइकन को प्रेस कर लो ताकि हर नई आने वाली वीडियो की नोटिफिकेशन आपको मिलती